What's up, guys, and welcome to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition, also known as, I think, the Stanley Parable 2. This is a game that I've wanted to check out for a very long time, basically ever since it was released, the original Stanley Parable, and as soon as I realized that the Ultra Deluxe Edition just came out today, I knew I had to give it a shot for all of you guys, so here we are with part one of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. Now, here's the deal. If you guys want this to become a series on the channel, let me know. Show this video a ton of support. Leave a like. Leave a bunch of comments down below. You know, say your thoughts on the game, whatever you want, and uh, if we get a ton of support on this video, I'll make this into a full series on the channel and we'll continue to play through it. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be my first experience experiencing the Stanley Parable, which from what I heard, is going to be an incredible game and just an incredible experience. So I'm very excited. Anyways, let's go ahead and press begin the game and hop in, which by the way, it's a little weird. Look, there's a computer on the back that's showing what I'm selecting. So, all right, end is whatever the end is near. What'd that say? Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Like Orders came character. to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. So his job... And then one day, something what? very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Uh -oh. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Hmm. Oh, oh, I'm in. I wonder what Stanley did before this job. Because, like, what did, what did he do before this? Now he just presses buttons. Oh, what? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I gotta go to the meeting room. It's kind of cool. We have this narrator guy telling us what to do. What does that say? I like work. I just hate my boss. <laughs> okay. Let's go find the... Wait, what? Oh, this looks exactly like the room I was just in. All right, so where's the meeting room at then? I guess just follow the open doors, right? I like to explore though, you know, see what I can find. But let's just sit, do what the game says, right? Besides trying these doors as I walk there. When Stanley oh. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wait, what if I go through the door on the right, though? Should I... Should I do it? <laughs> I want to do it. I want to go... I want to not follow the narrator. Let's go. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Uh? Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The employee lounge? So you can actually go off track in this game. Like, I don't have to follow what he says. Ah, <sighs> yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. You know what's weird? Whenever I left click, listen. He makes like keyboard noises. Do I, am I holding a keyboard? What? That's he weird. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, I'm not gonna listen. I'm gonna go through here. What are you going to do about Stanley it? Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh my god, we're ignoring everything. Let's just keep ignoring what he says, and then, like, next playthrough, we'll, we'll listen to what he says. Alright, warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. We'll cause death. Oh yeah? Oh my god, you can! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, uh -oh. Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> I had to Good try job, it. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Oh my gosh. Wait, so I'm coming. I'm back. I'm back. Wait, what? So that was. All of his co workers were gone. What? Now what we're back here. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 
Okay, so let's try going to the meeting room this time and just see what happens, right? Let's let's follow his order. When Stanley came. We can go that way another time. Okay, doors, left, left. He entered the door on his left. Yes, I did. I listened. I'm listening. Okay, I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna go off the edge or whatever this time. Yet, I'm not gonna do my own thing. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, you gotta go to the boss's office. Ooh, broom closet. Oh, what's in here? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around. There's a broom. And got back on track. Wait, there's a broom in here, dude. It's exactly what it says. <laughs> All right, he said go Coming up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked okay, upstairs to listen. his boss's office. Let's listen. Which floor is it, though? Oh, the one with the open door. Whoa, look at this. What the heck, dude? This office is crazy. Whoa. What? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any Look. human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from what is him. It? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin Dang number. It. Two, oh. eight, Four, five. But of course, Stan yet incredibly by simply pushing I got it. <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stan oh. happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Whoa. He stepped into the newly opened Whoa. passageway. What is this? This is like behind the scenes? What is okay. It's really dark back here, but let's go down. What is what did we just find, dude? This game is crazy. It's so cool. There's so much happening. Like so much just random stuff. Like we can do so many different things. Like Descending I gotta go back and try into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we're like Stanley walked straight oh. ahead through the large door that read mind control facility escape. Look, all right, we're going to keep following, but I got to try that path, right? I have to mind control facility. What is this? Am I going to have to like plug into this? Oh, the lights rose Whoa. on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible what? secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? What is going on here? That's insane. Okay, what more can I do in here? Is there anything else? Any documents? Oh, cameras. Now Whoa. the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What number was I? Was I two, two, three, four? Look, that one's all like bugged out. I don't know. What the heck, dude? This is crazy. Imagine this is like in your office space, this giant area. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Let's go up. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Wait a minute, it he's was controlling unthinkable. me. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? This guy is literally controlling me and telling me what to do. Well, I guess I can not listen to him, but... But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded Look, from this a button very up there. place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. How do I do that? 
<laughs> How do I do that? Hello? <laughs> you didn't exactly tell me what to do. Okay, let's go. I guess the facility power. Let's go in there. Well, look at this, though. So many buttons I can press. All right, <laughs> I'm done pressing buttons. Let's go. Let's go into the facility power room. Oh, mind controls idle, awaiting input. What, is it going to, like, show my eyes? Like, what I'm looking through or something? Like, what I'm looking at? Okay, and when at power. last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place uh, and to everything it stood for. Uh, I could press on and see what happens, but I'll press off. Right. Do I just shut down and die? Like, what, what happens to me? Let's see. Huh? I think I might have just ended myself. Blackness <laughs> and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I think so. Oh? Yes. He had won. Wait, what? He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Oh my gosh. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, it's the sky. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whoa. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Why? Stanley stepped through the open door. But how did no one find this giant building? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. He did it. And Stanley was happy. Aww. So we got the good ending. Nice. I got an achievement. Beat the game. Get your first achievement. So I beat the game. <laughs> well, guys, I'm into the video here. Just kidding. Okay, so obviously now we have to go the other path, right? So I could go left again and then try something else there. Or I can go back to the other meeting room. All right, All of his let's go back gone. to the other meeting what room. Okay, guys, I'm back here. Ago. So this is where I jumped off last time and, you know, it didn't, it didn't go so well. Um, so we have this. What else do we have here? We gotta figure out the secrets of this place, man. There's a lot. Look, a key card scanner. What if I go back onto oh, the door closed? Because he said he was like, turn left at that door. What if I go back and then turn left, but I can't? So I have to go on this, right? I have to, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't... Look, Stanley, oh. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh? Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Oh. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Ooh, okay, we're finding stuff. It, Stanley. Your Wait. chance to redeem yourself. Okay. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Who's her? She's been waiting. Who? Oh my gosh. Is it my secret wife? Is it my daughter? Oh. It's her. That's her, Stanley. Pick up. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Why is there cigarettes? If cigarette? you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. What if I don't want to pick up the phone? Okay, I will. But right, I'm sure there's another ending if I don't. Oh, this is another ending, isn't it? It's, oh, wait, what? Where am I? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Gotcha. Oh, come on. 
Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Okay. Dude, this guy owns, like, everything. What this is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Wait, what? Good morning, employee 427. Press C on your keyboard. C. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. Hello, madam. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press P, okay. Look at him there, pushing, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. I'm not. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Press G. Okay. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press Q to watch TV. Ooh, TV. And so he began ah, to fantasize about his okay. own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. To press Q to spend time with the boys. Oh, okay. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors what? and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Prepare the dinner. As he wandered through ah. this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. What? And he called <laughs> it the Stanley Parable. Wait, what? <laughs> See, you tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Tell your wife you love her, okay? But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Aww. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. M to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Press T to be at work in the morning. No. Wait, but I should do it, because I'm listening to him. I don't know. I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Should I do it? I don't know. <laughs> Would you guys do it? I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna stand here. I'm not even gonna move. I have gone AFK. <laughs> Come on. Oh, don't tell me I have to stand here for like 30 minutes or something. I don't know what to do. What if I press a different button? I'm gonna press X. No, okay, that does nothing. So it wants me to press T, but I don't. I don't wanna. I can't go anywhere. I'm trapped. So it's like, either I go back to work or I stand here and hope something happens, but I don't know how long I'd have to wait. Uh, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to press T. We can always come back to this path, right? It's not like it's the end of the world. We can't ever come back here. I can always come back. So I'm going to press T. I'm going to give it 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I don't want to press it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm pressing it. You I did see? It. Can he just not hear me? Wait, am I back How at the can start? Can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill okay, himself? Okay, so... How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Huh. Question nothing. 
I have to question nothing, I guess. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Oh, and please Stanley die. pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Oh. I pressed T and it, it okay, well. <laughs> I think we just got another ending. Yep, we're loading back into the start again. Okay, so obviously at that point, right, we have to go AFK for I don't know how long, but we can try that another time. Let's go back on that All path again, right? And let's go what to the right mean? instead Stanley again, but then instead of going room, across the elevator, we go left at that door. That could connect us right back to where we were. Like, if we go left at this door right here, but let's try it anyways. When let's see Stanley what happens. Came to a it's just so cool that there's so many different, like, routes we can take, you know? And okay, so this way. Well. There should be a door Perhaps coming up on the left that we're going to go through. First, just to admire it. Okay, yep. Got it. Okay, so admiring. Sublime. We're going to run right through. We're not going to admire it. But eager to get back to business, oh, it does. It's Stanley a new... took the first open door okay. on his left. So go left. Where does this take us, though? And so he detoured through oh. the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh, we found another elevator. Okay, we got to take this. Let's go. Ooh, this could take us to the mind control facility without having to go through all the other stuff and maybe a new part of it. I don't know. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further yes. on track. Yes, yes, I did. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, well, uh, doesn't know where I am. From here, it's, um, left. But what if I go... Wait. These doors... Okay, this door doesn't open. This door doesn't open either. Dang it. So I have to go left. All right. Let's do it. Because, yeah, I can't open the garage. So. Oh, oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. Wait a minute. Come on. Open this door. Oh. All right. Let's go to the right. No. No? What? No, no, no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Is this door? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh my gosh. Rustling papers. <laughs> now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Get me out of here. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Uh, okay. What the heck is going on here? We're going further down. Oh, look, we're back at the mind control thing, but a different... No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Look, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. How do I get out of here? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll no. just restart the game from the beginning. No, and don't. this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, oh. from the top. Dang it, we went too far back. Okay, so all of his co-workers. Let's go. I mean? went right. All right, let's Stanley go left. To go to the and then Perhaps there was another option, right? If we didn't turn off the machine and like a few other things. So let's go left again and let's see. Or well, left I'm this Stan time. Wait, what? Wait, wait what? Wait, it no one. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game. What? Over, fresh. <laughs> Everything should be. Well, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. What? I can go... Oh, my God. Okay, uh, which way do I go? Okay, I'm going to go left so we can go in order if I have to, but... Wait, what is happening? There's so many different... Oh, my God, I don't know where to go. There's so many different ways to take. I don't know. Uh, wait. Uh, I don't know, dude. What, tell me where to go, narrator. I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know what to do. All right, we're just going to keep walking. This looks like I'm in the back rooms right now. Wh okay. I'm back here again. I'm going to go this way. Can I can I go inside these offices? No. I'll say it. This is the oh, worst found adventure it. I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do I'm we back. just do we need to restart the game again? No. 
Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? No! Oh, man. All right, where are we going now? All of his co-workers were so gone. same intro, what yeah. Mean? Is it going to change again? Stanley it has to change again. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yep. Something's going to change again. Watch. There's no way it's going to be this room, though, right? Okay. Okay. Yep. It's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Of course. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? All right, let's do it. So, wait, look. In this room, there's a, a back hallway. Maybe this door? No. Why is there spilled coffee here? Where the heck could I... Oh, look, that door's open. All these doors don't open, though. They're all... Yeah, they're all locked. Dang it. Okay, so where the heck could we go? That's locked. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The oh. story. Here it comes. Where are we? No, wait, oh. never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace <laughs> our steps. <laughs> We're so lost, dude. Oh my god. Whoa, where are we? Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. What? Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! No! Congratulations! Wait, what? I won! I knew you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, what? good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. What? Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to No, restart. not again. Okay. Oh, the All right. Stanley Parable I've got Adventure a solution. Line. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure <laughs> what? Line. Just Wait. follow the line. How simple is that? Wait, but that's not the right way. The right way is this. Wait, what? The right way is this way. So why am I going that way? No, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. I'll listen, I'll listen. All right, so we have to follow the line. Wait, look, this computer's on. Is that always, oh, what'd I just do? Hold on a minute. We might've found something. Turn off the computers? Hold on, this game has so many different endings and like things you could do that I want to try real quick to turn off each of the computers and just see if anything happens. That, that's weird that you can even turn them off. Like, why does it give you that option? Let's see, can I turn off my computer? No. Mine's the only one that you can't turn off. All right, let's follow the adventure line. I'm done. I'm done looking around. Even though there's a lot to look at and a lot to do, but let's go. Oh, wait, another computer. Turn it off. Is that solitaire? How come I can't turn this one off? All right, let's go. No more messing around, even though I'm going to try all these doors because there's so you many see? secrets. The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Who drew this line? What is this adventure music? Who drew this? They took like the weirdest path. Okay, this is the loudest music, dude. Holy crap. This music is so loud. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm just not gonna follow that because I don't even know why it wraps around through there. Who? what, it's on the ceiling. What is going on here? Okay. Cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Why, what, 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 what about it? Stanley. This fern will be very important later in the story. What do Make you mean? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. What do you mean? It's a fern. What? <laughs> what? 
Okay, study it carefully. Okay, uh, it looks like that. Okay. I'm definitely gonna forget what that thing looks like, but it's fine. I, I tried my best to study it carefully. Wait, what? what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no. Not here again. Not here again. No. Where does the other way take me? Where The other way has to take me somewhere else, right? It's got to. All right. So, no. This takes me back to the start. What the heck, dude? So, I have to go back to the surveillance brain monitoring area? Okay. We have to. Yeah. There's literally nothing else I could do. I turned off the computers. I followed the line. TM. Trademarked. And I still am back at the mind control thing. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what happens now. Oh, no, 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 not again. I know. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Okay. The line, it's back. <laughs> oh, the narrator. You know what's down here? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Yeah. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? All right, let's do it. So now he's creating his own story. I like this. All right. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Ooh. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Uh, I want to see the back rooms. <laughs> oh, no, not you again. Oh, the line. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Okay, I'm not looking at it. I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it. I'm making my own path. I'm not even following it right now. I can't see it. Oh. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. What? So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I'm going left. Dang it. What is that? The confusion oh, oh, ending? What's this? Hmm. Hmm. What? The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? Wait, what? That's really how all this goes? Stanley dies. <laughs> determined? So now, Find according a to the store. schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? <laughs> no, got, it can't oh, be. No. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Wait, you can. Oh my god, no, I'm not. And the timer to oh. stopped. Does we that broke. mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? We broke the, the game. Um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? I don't know. So, okay. Let me have a seat. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do- No, <laughs> it forced to restart. Wait, I'm back here. I thought it said I would like 
end up in a dark space and then go to a bookstore. What? All of his co-workers Wait. Were gone. Uh -huh. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Wait. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So I got an ending. That's the confusion ending, I guess. But I thought, huh? When Stanley came we're back to a here. Set of two open doors. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow left. it. I'm gonna follow it, and we're gonna, we're gonna say no to the brain machine. I think we're back on the normal playthrough. Yet there was yeah, not a look, single this is all normal. Okay. Feeling a so we go through here. Disbelief. Stanley decided to I'm go gonna up just, to Wait, I can go down office. though. Let's Coming go down. To a staircase, Stanley this could be different. Yeah, look. To his boss's <gasps> Another door. We found something new. Is there anything? What's that? A note? There's a note down here, but I can't read what that says. Hi. You guys can read. Oh my god, if you guys can see what that is, let me know. But you, that's definitely like you can read what that says. It's just like too far away for me to read it, but. All right, but Stanley so. just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. We're going in a circle. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see yeah, his I thought feet about that. when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. What? <laughs> then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Wait, it what? It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. What? I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay.
What is going on? Where are we gonna wake up? Oh, I'm back here again. Okay. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Oh my gosh, he's going crazy. And everything went black. No. Are we going to the bookstore now? <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Wait, what? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to Wait, her place what? work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man that me? who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. What? <laughs> Why did she run? <laughs> I guess because she was going to be late. Wait, it's restarting again. Huh? I'm back here. So that was an ending? Hold on. Let me... I'm going to check the Steam page. There's 11 achievements for this game. We have two. Okay. There's a few that we can do. Test achievement description. Replace this. Okay. Quit the game and then start it again. Okay. So begin the game again like that. No, I think it wants me to like actually quit like to the menu and then begin the game again. And then I think this will work unless it wants me to like this. Wait, skip. Okay. So that's the intro that we've seen. Now we're back here. I didn't get the achievement though. So I don't know. Uh, it says you can't jump as one of them. And it says, no, seriously, we disabled it. I'm pressing jump and yeah, I can't. All of this oh, I got the achievement. Gone. You can't jump. What yeah. Mean? Okay, so that's Stanley that one. Decided to go to the meeting. Room. Um, Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So play the Stanley parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. What? <laughs> I had to come back on a Tuesday and play it. Okay. Uh, and then there's an achievement called eight 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 eight. It's like a bunch of eights. Click on the door four thirty five times. Four thirty right here. Five. Wait, did it say five times? Yeah. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, please. Are you really just <laughs> doing this for the achievement? Yes. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits Come away on. for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Yes, hand it over. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. What? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Is it counting the other 5? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. What do you mean? Look, the Perhaps achievement 50 says. Clicks will do it. Yes. Okay, so let's keep. I'm just going to spam click it, dude. At this point, he wants me to do this. I'm just going to spam click it. Fine. I'll do it. I don't exactly. No, oh. no I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I. I want this achievement to have meant something. What it do has you want to be me to do? A true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I'm hustling. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? What? Where is that even at? 417? Where? 417. Okay, I've got... Oh, right here. Okay, so... Oh, this achievement is so oh, random. Great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437? Isn't it that back this way? 437? No. 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Okay. This is a troll. I just want the achievement. 415. Where's that even at? Four. Okay, it's this way. It's right here. This one? Yeah. Okay. Now, back to door number 437. Okay. 
All right, dude. All right, fine. Four, three, seven. I'm going back. I'm going back. If you insist, I'm going back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so wait, I passed it. Yeah, right here. Okay. Let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. The copy machine. All right, back to room four one seven. I'm really feeling what? it now. I think we're getting somewhere. This guy's trolling me. He's actually trolling me right now. Four one seven four. Okay. Okay. Now go climb on employee four one nine's desk. Four one nine. Where is that even? Okay. How am I gonna climb? How do I get on that? I don't even. What do you mean? I'm on it. What do you want me to? What do you want me to do? I don't know how you. <laughs> how yes. Oh. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. What? Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Why is he so excited? What is going on? Why is he so We've excited? We've almost oh got my it. Okay. Now the copy machine. Okay. Okay. Do okay. that one again. Oh, my God. I'm really feeling the excitement right now. The copy machine. The copy machine. Was It, it was in this room, wasn't it? Uh, I'm coming. Hold on. Keep that excitement going. Finish it off, Stanley. The desk. Five yeah. clicks on door 430. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five. Yes! I got the achievement! We did it! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes. I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? So I did it! Okay, I got the achievement. Okay, let's refresh the achievements. Okay, so... I got that one. Um, the other achievement is speed run. Complete the Stanley Parable in under four minutes, 22 seconds, not including load times. Ooh, okay. Setting world champ, settings world champion. Set all setting sliders in the menu to all the available numbers. What does that mean? Okay, settings, all the available numbers? What do they mean? What does that mean? I think it means it wants me to just like increase everything like that. I don't know. I don't, I increased field of view to like maximum, but that didn't seem to really do anything. Okay, I'm going to lower this back down. Camera sensitivity, let's just lower it there. I don't know what it means by like, maybe it means like lower all of this down to like zero. Oh my God, that's weird. Walking around in this game with no volume. It's just so funny that the game, like the, the gameplay itself is just this, like figuring out what you can find and stuff like that. Because there's so many just random things. Okay, I don't know what it means by, it says... Set all setting sliders in the menu to all the available numbers. But then it shows like the setting going down to zero like that. So I'm going to try this. Let's put it all down to zero. That's everything. Unless I like lower the resolution of the game. Oh my God, this is weird. I'm really zoomed in. Oh, <laughs> look, I can't even hear what he's saying. Okay, let's change it back. Let's change it back. We'll, we'll try to figure that figure this out another time. But for right now, let's go ahead and get everything back to normal. I wonder if you lower the narrator without doing anything. Left. Okay, so the last thing, last achievement that shows up is don't play the Stanley Parable for 10 years. What? How do you even get that? How do you not play the game for 10 years? I don't even, I don't even know. All right, let's, let's take the normal path, right? Let's try one more thing. I want to try, um, selecting yes on the, the mind control machine and going from there because we there did was this. A single person here there's under. just, there's so much to do in this game. It's crazy. Disbelief. Stanley and look, that broom closet to you can open. To his Coming to a okay, staircase. so we're gonna go up. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's I wonder, office. what if I don't put in the key code? Or if I go this, what's this? Executive bathroom? Whoa! I got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. So that's a lovely purse. What? Time magazine? Look, the time. It had me set the time, by the way. I don't know why. And I set it twice in a row, and it told me, like, thank you for setting it correctly twice in a row. Next time, set it to whatever you want. I don't, I don't know what that meant, but okay. So we're here. Can I go in here? Wait, you can see in there. Oh, you can't like really tell what's happening, but you can definitely see in there. Is there anything here? No. All right. So what if I Stepping don't put in the into code? His manager's office. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication. What if I type it in before he life? says it? What was the code? What could it mean? Oh, I don't remember the code. Allowed. To nobody. What's he the began code? wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind uh. the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, I think if I type in the code before he says it, something new will happen, but I don't remember the code. Below his feet. So let's and see so here. the boss had assigned it an extra secret. Yeah, yeah, what is it? What is it? Two eight, two, four, five. Eight, four, 
But of course, Stan. Wait, what if I don't put it in? Hold on. Two eight four five. I'm not putting it in. Let's see what happens. Two eight four four five. In case I need it to get out, I'm gonna remember it. Two eight four five. Yeah, I can't. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, Two, eight, four, five. trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know <laughs> that the combination was two eight four nope. five. Nope. I don't know what that is. What's that? I don't know, I don't know what you're telling me. <laughs> I think he's gonna get upset at me and like open the thing and put Two, it on. Eight four five. No, I refuse. I'm standing on the boss's table. What is he gonna do about it, huh? Where is he? I don't even see him. By the way, you guys see that camera up there? It's really high up. I don't even know what that's recording, but <laughs> I think you need to like point it down a little bit. But does it? Forgot. Oh. But it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. Wait, what? And the door just opened all no! by itself. And Stanley got the hell along. I put the it story. in. Well, what did do? I put it in. No, look, I put it in. <laughs> That'd be funny if he came back. He's like, wait a minute. Now you put in the code. Now you know. <laughs> wait, what's back here? Oh, oh, wait. What? What is this? What's back here? There's like, oh my god, is this a hallway? Where am I? It's like there's, oh, wait, huh? Hold on. I think there's something back here, but I can't tell. It's so dark, but it looks like, it looks like this leads somewhere. I don't, I'm trying to find secrets, as you guys can tell. Wait, can you turn up the brightness while in the game? Let me see. No, dang it. Okay, that would have been nice. Just boost the brightness. Which I could do in the settings, but I'd have to do like I'd have to restart the game, I think, like completely. But nah, I don't I don't think there's anything back there. Now that I say that, there probably is, but Alright, so let's go the other way again. And let's go ahead and press the other Standing button. Walk so, yeah, ahead oh the look! Door that I can go this way. Control facility. Oh I forgot about this. So we can either go in there and say no to that or go this let's go this way. Escape. We'll come Although back to that. This passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Yeah, okay, buddy. Uh-huh. Sure. Sure I will. I'm going to find that out for myself. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had nope. every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Oh, so that's probably another thing. I can go back through that door. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. That's right. And willingly confront his death. That's right. Oh, what's this? This isn't death. Unless this is lava. Okay, that looks like... That kind of looks like death. I don't know. Maybe I should go... Nah, I'm going in. <laughs> I think I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, wait. Wait, what? I'm just falling. Oh, I'm alive. Wait, what? Oh, my God. Oh. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer oh, to his demise, no. he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. No, 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 no. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of I'm what dead. this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. No, no, so no. he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow Wait. life. No! Oh my gosh! No! Wait, what do you mean? No, drop down, drop down! Look! There's a- Hey, crouch. Come on. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. Wait. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous oh, metal she? jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Who are you? Oh my god! Who's that? Where- the Stanley... What? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What is going on right... Where? When every path huh? you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? Wait, what? they're like explaining office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development through the core layout remain though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Yeah, look, that's where we start. We go through here. Then this way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the exact layout. Then there's the two doors. Interesting. Wait, is this part of like 
the deluxe edition? This seems like behind the scenes, like it's telling us how it all, the two doors, a set of the two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. What is going on? There's doors here, numbers, button sounds, a selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Whoa, this is cool. Credits? Oh my god, yeah, this is like the end. I think we beat the game. But there's still, I still have to press no on the mind control thing. So this was actually the escape, like it wasn't lying. Wait, what's over here? Let's go this way first, I think that way leads somewhere else. Let's go here. What is this? The office maintenance room? An early version of the maintenance room. 43143. Three. Oh my god, the copy machine. And we got this up here. Whoa. Wait, fun. I haven't seen that. And look, it's got like a YouTube page on it. I don't know what that is, but that's interesting. There's money. What does that say? Welcome back, employee 427. We've got a projector from. Oh. Art, subject regarding, I appreciate, wait, what? Dear narrator, I appreciate the previous Stanley game as a work of art and a standalone uh, alone title. I appreciate the credit given to the art. Wait, dear narrator, will the Stanley Parable have infinite quests? How many endings? The Stanley Parable is really going to let me go shopping. I hope it will have a fine selection of desert boots. Desert boots? What? Narrative, after the second trailer, we sent out, we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While he had initially planned to use these further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Oh, that's really cool. Imagine you send an email and now you're in the game. Like, that's so cool, man. That's awesome that they did that. Okay, what do we got over here? The office. This is so cool to see. Like, I want to sit back and, like, read all of this. But obviously, if I did, we'd... What is that noise? Oh. Wait, what? Uh, the apartment timer. Oh, a timer would give you 15 seconds. Not picking up the phone will lead to a different ending. By the way, we still have to do that ending where we don't do anything there. I forgot about that. Wow, meeting room. Oh, look. It tells you, like, how to get the other endings or other stuff. Maintenance layout. Okay. Obviously, like, I, I would love to read all of this with you guys, but we'd be here for hours and hours and hours. But zending levers? These levers were originally a part of the Zending. The player would play lever and the narrator would describe what color they had pulled. Okay, let's go this way. What is going on? Trailers. May 2012 was the first one. Okay. Let's go to the next room. What do we got here? The game is now paused. Escape menu. What? For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do. Which was frustrating for everyone. Oh, wait, is that still a thing? Cause that's probably like a hint of like telling us how to get it. There's an exit there. There's buttons. Freedom ending. Yeah, this is the freedom ending as existed in the beta. Okay. What? Countdown desk. What the? So wait, there's an exit there, but there's still so much to explore. It's like, it's a giant maze. Like, I don't even know where to go. Cause there's just so much here. What the? Oh, what's this? Narration outtakes. Kevin Bright Brighting. And finally, oh. he pushed the number nine. Push the number nine? Uh, Stanley stood on the roof. What the heck? Uh, record dialogue for the entire Stanley game roughly three separate over times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. Oh. I thought for sure if I pressed the number nine right there, something would have happened. Like, I thought for sure it would have been like, Oh, huh, you actually pressed Like, I was waiting for the narrator to start saying, like, Oh, you actually pressed it, huh? Was not expecting that. Okay, so that connects back to where we were. Let's go uh, through this door right here, right? I think we've explored everything. Besides, look, there's that. That's the exit. Then there's this, which we haven't seen yet. And then everything else looks... Yeah, okay. So we've got to go through the exit now and see what's down there. I saw something, though. Wait, can I go on this elevator? No. Okay. So exit. Stanley, the Stanley Parable. Oh. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. So I turn it off? I guess. Oh. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? 
No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh, wait. Listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else. Ah, oh, it wants me to quit. Path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. No. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let Oh my. What if I press it now? <laughs> no, I don't I'm not gonna do it. I don't know if I was supposed to actually press it there or not. There's so many choices, I don't know. I wanted to see what happens if I just got squished. But I think it's starting me back at the beginning. Yep. Are you kidding me? Wait, am I like, I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually back at the beginning. Okay, but wait, there's still more. Obviously, decided to go to the meeting we can go back there simply missed a memo. and we can quit the game, right? And see what happens. We can go back to the mind control thing, press no on it, see what happens there. And we can do a few other things. So I'm going to end this video here, though. But that was the Stanley Parable um, 2 or the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition, whatever you want to call it. Overall, a lot of fun. And there's so much here. And I feel like I'm only scratching the surface, to be honest. Like, I still feel like there's a lot more here. So if you guys want to see another video on this game, show this video a ton of support. If you've made it to the end of the video, drop a secret comment down below saying end. All right. Only the people that made it to the end are going to know what that is and what we're talking about. Or you can just put some random word like banana. And I'll be hiring some comments that do. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.